she kneads the dough for a good 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Can you believe I'm 93 years old? kneading the dough for 30 minutes. After one minute, you say, oh, I can't do it anymore. 93 years old. The next video I wanna show you guys, it's my nonna on pasta grannies. Oh, what am I doing there? Oh, I got my cameo there on pasta grannies. Look at my belly, so big. I love that knife. We worry so much about buying expensive knives and chopping boards. And then you see nonna there with a cheap knife and a small plate, she cuts everything. It's hard work in the summer heat. Look at that. 93 years old, and look how she's kneading the dough. Look at that. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Play, the place where we react to good, bad, and funny videos. Today, we are reacting to Pasta Grammys, a channel where you see Italian grandmothers sharing their recipes. Is this channel about Italian nonnas? What? for you to subscribe and watch? Let's find out. We start from this very popular video, 1.2 million views. You have a 93 year old making pasta and you only have 1.2 million? And then you get Gordon Ramsay cooking pasta the wrong way and he gets 10 million? <coughs> What's going on with this world, huh? I wanna see 20 million views at least. I love this music, I just love it. Look at the pasta there, look at the pasta. Cesaria is 93 years old. She makes a pasta dough using durum wheat semola flour and warm salted water. Neighbor Marisa helps. So cute, so cute. So she's making a pasta without egg, which is basically a pasta with just semolina and water. And that's what's mainly made in the south part of Italy. She kneads the dough for a good 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Can you believe I'm 93 years old? Kneading the dough for 30 minutes? You! How old are you? 20, 25, 40, 50, 60? After one minute you say, oh, I can't do it anymore. 93 years old. These are the people that we need on this planet. Please live forever. It's a very warm day, so it dries quickly and she has to add water and work it hard to make it pliable. Work it hard. Fantastic. Yeah, I love this channel so much because, you know, Vicky, who is a wonderful woman, I'm proud to say she's my friend, she goes to these places, you know, and find these nonnas, which is not easy, okay? And these nonnas are sharing these recipes and they can stay with us forever, thanks to YouTube. So please, turn 1.2 million views into 30 million views. These are the videos that deserve to be watched, okay? These are the videos that you need to watch. It was gonna change your life. Stop watching Gordon Ramsay, watch this stuff. Once Cesaria is satisfied the dough is the right consistency, she gradually rolls out a long spaghetti strand of pasta. She wraps it twice round three fingers and creates a double loop. Then removes this from her fingers and rolls it, wow. a bit like winding a watch. And wow. Make wow, wow, guys, this is an artisan. Look at this lady, she's so happy, so relaxed. Look at the flowers at the back. She's making this beautiful pasta. You can't even find this in the shops. You can't find this in your local shops. This is magnificent. Let me tell you guys, I was born in Italy. I lived in Italy. I go to Italy all the time and I've never eaten this pasta. Never. But thanks to this channel, now I'm learning about this pasta. There are more than 400 different types of pasta shapes. And this is one of them. There's so much for us to learn. Here on Pasta Grannies, we can learn because the nonnas are there to share the right information with you. Not like these people on TikTok. They just want to become popular, famous. With what? With no talent? With no artisan skills? This is what we need to watch to learn. It's a twisted hoop. Beautiful. I mean, I wish we get to 93. How do you get to 93? If you eat good food, you get there. If you eat junk food, you can't live that long. Just that's what I'm trying to remind everyone every week with my videos. This is how you live long. Yeah? Cesaria is famous for making especially fine lorigitas. And here she thinks the pasta is too thick. 
See how low they put pressure on them, even like my nonna. Every time she cooks, she never believes she made a good job. She always thinks, oh, today is not good enough. And I say, no, no, today is actually better than last time. They love it. And you know why they say that? They say, oh, they didn't do a good job. Because they want to eat. You saying, it's the best I ever had. That's the reward for a nonna. They make you feel sorry for them. Say, oh. But then, at the same time, your belly is so happy. Do you say the right words? Nonna, today the pasta tastes the best. It's the best you ever made. And Nonna is the happy person on the planet. That's how you make a Nonna happy. Cute, 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 so cute. This Nonna is so cute. I just love it. The next video I want to show you guys, it's my Nonna on Pasta Grannies. My Nonna Igea, the queen, my queen, her queen. She is on Pasta Granny. She got 300,000 views for her Timballo Terramano, which is a lasagna from Abruzzo. Watch it with you together. Edition of Pasta Grannies. We're borrowing a nonna from Vincenzo's Plate, another YouTube channel that's famous in Australia. Thank you, Iggy. I love Biggie. And this is Ijea. Yeah. Have I said that correctly? Oh, I miss you, nonna. I love you so much. It's been such a long time. I haven't seen my nonna for two and a half years. And soon, very, very soon, I'm getting to... Sorry, I'm getting emotional now. Very soon, I'm getting back. And I will be able to cook with this wonderful woman. Okay, so molto grazie, un grande piacere. Anche a me, tanto piacere. She's so beautiful. She's such a beautiful, beautiful woman who can cook so well. Sono in Gea, oggi vi faccio vedere come si fa il timpano alla terra mano. Iniziamo a rompere le uova. Nonna e Gea first makes the crepes. They are incredible. Oh, I miss Nonna's kitchen. I, I do wish I was there right now. Just I can smell that kitchen. She uses eight large eggs and beats them thoroughly. Hey, hey. crepes are so beautiful and beautiful and moist. Otto uova, otto cucchiai di farina. She just gradually in. whisks in eight tablespoons of plain flour. Feel everything. She doesn't use scales. She just fills with her hands or spoons. She makes a smooth batter. Oh, what am I doing there? Oh, I've got my cameo there on pasta granis. <laughs> Look at my belly, it's so big. Nonna Ergia uses nearly a whole eggshell to measure eight doses of water to the mixture. Can you believe that? That technique? Huh? Using the eggs. To measure how much the result work. is a batter the consistency of milk. Si, iniziamo la seconda fase. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ijea uses extra virgin olive oil. And that's a really good one, let me tell you. It's from her sister. She slices carrot and onion with a typical nonna knife and sautés the mixture. Nonna doesn't use chopping boards. Cuts everything by hand. She gets a small amount of minced beef. <laughs> she fries it until it is browned. I love then adds so much. homemade tomato salsa. And she makes the tomato sauce, yeah? She makes that. That's pure tomatoes that she makes. Jia oh. seasons the meat and then fries it. You know, I always keep this from Nonna. I never realized that Nonna seasoned the milk meat before she cooks it. I have never, never noticed this. Hmm. Thanks, Pasta Granny, for making me realize this. I never paid attention to that small Meanwhile, detail. Meanwhile, Vincenzo's other nonna joins the party. Oh, yeah. The other nonna too. Both of them are still alive and they're waiting to meet my son, Sebastian. Ah, look at this moment. Look how beautiful this is. Look how happy I was there. Oh. Soon, very soon I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, my other nonna, she's a very good cook, but as you can see, she's not really can cook that much anymore. Uh, it's not really cool, very comfortable for her, but she's a good critic. And let me tell you, she really makes amazing ravioli. And her best dish is the tripe. Tripe with pancetta. Keeps the meat separate to the tomato sauce to ensure maximum flavor for the finished dish. The Nona added the celery right now. She added the celery now to give the flavor to the sauce. Hmm. Tomato sauce needs to simmer for around 30 minutes. 
Okay. Ichie wipes the pans with oil and heats them until they're hot. She swirls a ladle of batter around each pan. Those crepes, sensational, sensational. And easy to make, let me tell you. Very easy to make. 20 Once seconds. Once the mixture is set, she flips the pancake. Bellissima. It could be a little bit of work, yes, but... She wants them cooked, but not browned. Yeah, because she's going to cook the lasagna in the oven, so they will keep cooking she in the oven. She places them on her grandmother's linen towel to cool. <laughs> it is a grandmother. Clean. AJ continues until all the batter is used. You can freeze them if you make too many. You can, 100%. You can freeze them. I love that knife. We worry so much about buying expensive knives and chopping boards and then you see Nonna there with a cheap knife and a small plate, she cuts everything. It's my mum. She arranges the pancakes so the edges hang over the side. I don't realise how much butter my Nonna use. Look at the pan, it's full of butter. The base should be covered completely. I can't wait Sebastian to have this. I can't wait. Hijia ladles a small amount of salsa Bello. so it just spreads over the pancake layer. Bellissimo. Then she sprinkles over mozzarella, Ooh. followed by the meat. Si fa tutto con le mani, eh? Of course. Some parmigiano cheese. And a little bit more tomato sauce. Yeah, of course. Hello, Mum. Hijia mm. beats an egg with a little milk and salt. Yeah. She dunks each crepe into this mixture before making another layer. Guys, this is a, this is a classic. Ije repeats the process until the pan is full. Guys, this is a classic Christmas lasagna for us, for my family. Bellissimo. Everything she is uses done. strips of crepe to fill any gaps. There should be at least five layers. Everything is done by hand, even the meat collected by hand. Nona is all about feeling it. See? Cheese everywhere. Finally, Ijea folds the crepes over the top. Bello. Nona loves butter. Nona loves butter. Yeah, she does. She pokes a knife into the timbalo and pours in a little of the egg mixture. Such an important detail. Very important. This goes into a moderate oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Oh. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. The timbalo is Look delicious. That. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that cheese in there. Oh. Thank you, Vincenzo's plate and nonna here. Oh. oh. Buon appetito. Oh, papa. Oh. 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 Buon appetito. I would pay anything to be there right now on that table with my dad, my mom, and my nonnas. Look how beautiful and special that moment is. So special. So special. Guys, the next video is about cannoli made by a nonna in Sicily. This video only has 824,000 views. What's going on with you guys? And then you got this pretending to be a best chef, special chefs, getting millions of views. This is what you need to watch. 93 years old from Sicily. Let's watch it. Sono Clara Torrente, nata familiana, domiciliata da qua. E sono felice poterci stare e eh, farci cannone perché questa è la caratteristica della Sicilia. Bellissima, bellissima, bellissima. Look where she's from. I'm gonna go to the part of Sicilia. I've never been there. Three year old Clara has lived in Favignana, an island close to Trapani in Sicily, all her life. And wow, who doesn't want to be there right now? How amazing that place is gonna tell me how amazing that place is. And she is famous for her cannoli, Sicilian ricotta filled fried pastries. Wow. How this pasta grand is? How did Vicky find this woman? How amazing! Come on, let's make cannoli together. Clara starts with 50 grams of granulated sugar, 
200 ml of water and 200 grams of lard. We do need sugar, man. To which she adds two tablespoons of vinegar. She says it gives the pastry more crunchy bubbles. Yeah. She adds a kilo of zero zero flour. No masala, but vinegar. Once the dough has formed, she kneads it for 10 minutes. It's hard work in the summer heat. Oh, yeah. 93 years old, look how she's kneading the dough, look at that. A family friend who was 90 at the time. Oh, two fridges. Mm. <sighs> Clara happens to have two pasta rolling machines. They do help. I she like rolls many. out the portions of the pastry on the widest setting on one machine and then the number three setting on the other. Okay. So it's a little bit thicker than for tagliatelle. Okay. It does make. It does make a huge difference. Clara uses her machine. oval pastry cutter, especially for cannoli. She's been making this for a while. Beautiful machine, beautiful, beautiful. Clara is making enough to feed her family and friends. <laughs> That's for the whole town. How well, many cannoli are you making? She's 93. Clara makes her own bamboo so, molds to form the cannoli. Oh, she harvests the canes every February, cutting and cleaning them to form 15 centimeter rods. Wow, bamboo stick and made. She lays them lengthways on the pastries and uses water to stick the pastry edges together over the mold. While she does this, she heats her lard. She checks to see... Lard, wow! I always use like peanut oil or vegetable oil. Lard, it gives more flavor, of course. By dropping some dough into the pan, it should... That pan has been used many times. Once the pastry is hard, she removes the bamboo rods. Wow. Bamboo does not overheat like modern metal rods do, and they are easy to remove. That's right. Clara continues frying the pastries until oh. they are nut coloured. Bellissimi, bellissimi. She leaves them to cool in a tin placed at an angle. Bellissimi. For the filling, Clara uses cow's milk ricotta, which oh. she mixes with a little sugar. Interesting. Normally, in Sicily, they use sheep milk ricotta. She sifts this through a very fine mesh to make it light and fluffy. Yeah, see? Use it by hand. Now, in these days, you don't really do that much, but it is important to do it. Clara likes to add chocolate buttons to her. Mm, me too, I love it. I love to put chocolate in there. It's so good, it's so good. What else do you put in there? Tell me. Cotter. A little bit of sugar, some chocolate, ricotta. I like to put lemon rind, the lemon zest. Oh. It gives the flavors, or you can use she orange. Uses a knife to fill both ends of her cannoli. I always use the piping bag, like the modern chefs. Look how beautiful it is, it is with, with a knife. It comes out so much better. Why do we do modern techniques? Look how beautiful it is. The dusting of icing sugar. The cannoli is not This is the last one. The last one of the cannoli. This is Grazie, Clara! <laughs> you have to eat them now, she said. I made them, you eat them now. Let's see if this guy likes them. Andrea gets to try one. They are deliciously crunchy and not too sweet. Look at his face, look at his face. These are the channels you have to watch if you want to learn Italian food or cooking in general. Clara. Buonissimo. <laughs> see, this is what you need in life. These type of channels, a grandmother who is there with you, showing you how to cook. These recipes are the best, and I can tell you, these cannoli are the best. I will never make cannoli so good. And I've been making cannoli for over six, seven years now. These, I can dream of something like this. This is sensational, sensational. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked all this nonna's cooking. Especially my nonna, I love my nonna so much. So please subscribe to Pasta Grannies and learn something new every day from these nonnas. Every single week you can watch a new video. And say hello to Vicky, write a comment to the channel and say, hey, Vincenzo sent me here and we love you because I do love them so much, okay? I want you to watch their channels even more than me. Yeah. So thank you so much, guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.